Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and I cannot wait to talk today about a new release of Nebu, my script Nebu, out now in version 3. And I think this is something a lot of you were waiting for with this update. If you don't know what Nebu is, it's actually a handwriting note-taking app that is one of my favorite note-taking apps on the iPad and iPad Pro. And I usually use it on my iPad mini because I have the best handwriting to text conversion. So it converts on the fly while writing. It is available on multi-device. So it's truly available on multi-device. For example, Note Shelf is also available on Android, but it is disconnected right now. They are working on a connection. Nebu, you have access to your notes on all the different devices. You can share your notes online. So this is all the different advantages we already have there. And they are the makers of the text conversion engine most of the other note-taking apps use, like Notability, GoodNotes, NoteShelf, they all use the MyScript conversion engine. So it is already a great tool, but why don't we only use Nebu then? Well, one of the big reasons is that you can't import PDFs in order to annotate them until now. They just released the version 3 and I think this is just the beginning of a great era of Nibu because now you can actually import PDFs into MyScript Nibu. Let's dive into how this new update looks like. Oh, all right, it's already over. So let's dive into this. So I switched to my iPad now. So this is the overhead and you see now this is working like this and I already imported my digital journal so you just see that I can actually import files that are more than 400 pages with no problem. I also like the lazy loading so it just builds up the pages as you scroll through them and I start to write and this works without any problem so you see it stays where it belongs to. I can use my highlighter, highlight the stuff so I can increase size obviously and highlight my stuff this way and it looks great. I switch to this so you can see it better. So I can move it around and I can say copy as text and now I copied the text. So this means I can now add the text somewhere else. So I can use my eraser, I can delete what I was writing, I can write test and I can highlight other text on the uh, PDF file. So what we see here when I'm highlighting, the highlight will stay in front of the text. So I know for example for PDF Expert it recognizes the text and when you highlight it, it will actually go beyond the text, behind the text. However, when I'm writing something, the highlighter stays behind the text. So this is working properly. Um, I can do this, I can draw and so on. So when we go to their website, we obviously see here that out now Nebu 3 version 3 with PDF import, that's the new big feature. And as I said, I think it's just the beginning. What I really saw over the past that my script was becoming more free form over time. We already had this thing that we can add sketches like this, and then we can transfer this or we can use free form. So we can really draw whatever we like. So there's still no, no shading, that's not an issue. So this was already freeform. What this means, so in the beginning it was like this. So you see how bad my handwriting is? That's not Nebu's fault, it's my own fault. And you see the conversion right on top. When, I, when I, it's not recognizing what I have written, which obviously isn't, I can just strike this through, write it again, and it will recognize this. Then I double tap. And I have the text. So this is what we had before and I can then you know make it different. I can drag it around. So this is already something really great but it was was restricted to different positioning. It wasn't possible for example to draw on the page. So this is what I mean it's freeing up. You can use much more freeform features now in my script and adding PDF annotation is just the next step into the right direction to make it maybe even a replacement of OneNote. OneNote. I think many of you reaching out to me, Tom, do you know anything other than OneNote that I can use on all my other devices? 
And the only thing that comes to my mind is Nebo when it comes to handwriting. And now that you can actually import PDFs makes it even better than OneNote because also you can bring PDF into OneNote. You cannot properly annotate it as we want to be. And especially when MyScript works on this, that we will get digital planners into MyScript. This will be the go for note taking app. We finally would have an application where we have access to our digital journals and planners on all our devices, Windows, Android, iPad, you name it. And we could work on the digital journal on all the different devices. So this could be truly a game changer when it comes to handwriting note taking. We are not there yet, but I'm hopeful that we will get there eventually. I maybe in 2021, we don't know. And if you don't want to miss out of the updates of Nebo, other note taking apps and productivity tools in general, and to become more productive in 2021, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you up next time.